is my name is yogesh sharma and uh, today i am going to demonstrate that how we can use the data list control in asp.net web form data list control is a data control which is used to show that database table data okay it means that you have a table in your database and the database table have some values and you want that that this table can be show on your web form itself okay so how we can uh, create this let me create a web form and uh, i just want to the name of my web form is that uh, that is the data list example okay and click and add okay go to the design view here you can see into the data tab we have a control data list control data list control we have so many controls over here but each and every control have some capabilities and the formats or their designs you can say here like uh, uh, let me uh, brief it or let me explain it with an example like you have a grid view but in grid view you can show the data in tabular format only but in the case of data list you can format the table layout it means that uh, where you want to set the column you can set it okay so let me take a data list here i want that the the color by using the auto format there are some formats are here i want to take professional just take it or apply it then okay now i will write some code to get the data from the database table to make this possible i have to take using system dot data this is my namespace which is used to get the data set using system dot data this is the code this is a namespace which is used to provide sql data reader sql data adapter and anything okay and uh, i want to call the connection string from my web configuration file that's why i am using here system dot configuration okay now i have to create the connection by using the sql connection here as i told you that uh, here i am going to open the connection or uh, or the you know to make the connection with your sql server database i am just added in my last video connection string that is a connection string add name equal to co double n connection string is the local server connection it's my local server ip or the server name database is now my local database and the integrated security means i am going to log in in your database using the windows authentication okay then provider name in this provider name i just writing the name space okay so to check the post back i am just writing is post back fill i am calling fill data list okay this is my method name i am just declaring the method declare method i will explain that why i am uh, declaring the method i can write the code here i can write the code which will uh, which will uh, read the data from database table and add the data into your data set data list okay but i will explain that why i am taking here fill taking here the method okay fill data list okay this is my method name i am just writing the body of my i have to set the return type also here so you can create a table in your database table i am just creating the table the table name would be add new table id it a it is a auto increment field integer identity specification yes then name where care app name stand for father name where care okay it's a very simple table info in this table i didn't write anything it means that i didn't add some code or the sorry i am going wrong side i'm didn't add any data okay i'm just writing some data yogesh and father name is sharma cg cg 1 2 3 okay i added two rows or two records in your database table 
executed it means that your data will be saved now now you can call the connection from the configuration by using the configuration manager class here you can see configuration manager here we have the static method that is a connection string in this in this connection string i will write the connection name which i have already created in your web.config file okay something is going wrong here because the method name was wrong okay fill data list okay my table has been created now i have to add a procedure which is used to get the data from the table just writing here videos remove this create prop sp get info table okay this is my procedure name here i am not going to take any input parameter because there is no need to input parameter because we are just writing the simple select command where i am getting that database table data okay now executed then you can see my new stored procedure has been created go to the programmability and select the stored procedure refresh it then you will see get info table procedure has been created now now i will call it from the web form i can call it by using that sql data adapter no need to take the sql command just write the procedure name in place of sql command and write the connection string co double n okay data set can be taken here data set and da dot fill method you can choose the da dot fill method and uh, write the ds here i have to set the connection dot open if you are not able to see this up and i am just increasing the font size con dot open so it means that this will open the connection and this command will add the database table data into data set now i want to bind this data set with my data list control by using data list one dot data source in data source i will write ds because ds is filled by the ds is filled by the procedure okay to show your data we have to select data list 1 dot data bind method and collection is, connection can be closed but before it i want to add into the try finally block just select the code and go to the surround with select the try app try app and this finally block i will close the connection which i opened into the try block okay so if i execute it then you will find that the no display will be come over here because nothing is here okay because i have to take the eval function into data list and i have to set the templates so to set the templates we have a option in your smart tag or data list smart tag select the edit templates and there are some templates are here i will explain in my forthcoming videos that what is the need of these templates here i am just telling you that item template is used to show the control data it means let me clear this i am just create a table which have three rows and two columns okay here i am asking for the id that is the user id then username or the name and third third one is the father name is a simple task it is not related to anything but in at this position i am just taking the level control what is the need of level control i want that the table data should be display in your level it means that your level should be bind with these particular columns okay so i want this this user id level should show the id value of the your database table then select the smart tag then go to the edit data binding 
in edit data binding we have a custom binding option and in this custom binding option you will use the two way binding function that is the eval and I am just setting the ID then ok it means that the level will uh, level 1 will be bind to the ID field of your database table it means that it will fetch the data from the ID field in the same way I will take two levels to bind with the name and the app name copy this paste this select the edit data binding select eval here I have to choose name and F name eval F name ok fine now refresh it then you will get the output if I add some data over here just like this Ramesh and Suresh refresh it or execute it then you will get the database table data in this way you can get all the data from the in your data list control in my forthcoming video I will explain that how we can perform edit delete operation in your data list control thanks for watching this video and please